What's up everyone, Washington here, back with another figure to review, and we're back with another Hasbro figure from the Marvel Legends series, X-Men Weapon X, and um, well, you know, I like to call him Weapon X Escape Lab, because you know, it's Wolverine that is escaping from uh, Lab as soon as he got his uh, adamantium on his, on his whole body skeleton, and then he got the metal claws for the adamantium, and uh... And yeah, I mean, uh, I picked this guy up at GameStop back um, last December, um, and he was like on sale, and I picked him up, and it's a it's a really nice uh, uh, figure because I, I I liked it the fact how he's like, um, well he he belongs to the uh, build a figure Caliban, and uh, yeah I. I and I'm not really, I wasn't uh, into like collecting them all, but I I just saw this Wolverine and uh, he reminded me back uh, a couple of years ago, um, Toy Biz released a figure, a Wolverine like this and Hasbro, you know, to me this is like an upgrade from Hasbro, uh, Wolverine, uh, X-Men or Wep Weapon X uh, Escape Lab, you know, that's what I'm calling him, Escape Lab, Weapon X Escape Lab, you know. Um, yeah, so this is the figure you see him clearly in the window box there from Marvel Legends, Hasbro, the X-Men logo on top, and he's a he belongs to the Caliban wave, the build a figure. Uh there he's the warnings from uh, choking hazards and for and up. There you see a good picture artwork right there of him. It's really nice. The same artwork on the other side too. And uh, the bottom part, you know, is just like the barcode and then the uh, where it was made of. And then the back side, you know, there's another really great picture, really great artwork right there of the Weapon X. And there's always a readout that feel free to pa to pause that and read it if you like. Uh, well, it says right there. Uh, the Weapon X program experiment on humans and mutants alike, including Wolverine, who undergoes a brutal process that bonds adamantium and his skeleton. And yeah, it's a short readout, and uh, it's got different languages. There's a Spanish one right there, so for those Spanish speakers, you know, you can always read that too. Um, the bottom part, there's the... Again, seven figures, and there's always one that doesn't have a piece of Caliban. Um, and this one is uh, Gambit. Last last figure that we reviewed, it was uh, Old Man Logan, and he didn't have any piece, so he was like a single figure. Um, there's a there's a, a Weapon X or Wolverine, or whatever. He's number two, which includes uh, Caliban's right leg. And then again the uh, Marvel and then Hasbro. And yeah, so let's open this guy up and have a closer look at it. Okay, here we have the figure. And we can start up with the measurement tape. And he measures up uh, a little bit over, a little over 6 inches. Which makes him almost 16 centimeters. Um, if you want to count the tip of his uh, helmet, yeah, he measures up to over 7 inches, I mean 6 inches, I mean, uh, which adds up to 16 centimeters. And yeah, here's a, here, here you have the figure, uh, Weapon X. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned, uh, uh, Toy Biz, you know, they, they released one in, uh, a couple of years back, and then this is like an upgrade from Hasbro. Um... And I think they they did a really good job on this figure. You know, they it's really it's really nice. You know, the the tubers, the cables, whatever. You know, they're uh, they're like a nice rubber plastic, so they're not that that hard plastic that you don't have to worry about breaking. You know, I mean, if you pull them, you know, you might uh, from like the control panels or whatever these are called. They're uh, they're attached to one another, and the only one that uh, that can disconnect from his helmet is this one um that's because you know he has a swappable head uh so that's why they gotta give us a reason why this needs to come off so 
um yeah this uh it's like right in that little peck hole there uh and yeah this is a this is a uh uh, Weapon X. So yeah, this is Weapon X, and then he, uh, well, you know, he has nothing on. The only thing that they gave him is uh, his uh, trunks. Um, the only thing, because like in the comic book, you know, he was nude, but he's a he's an action figure, so he's got to have something on. So thank God. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like the um, they added some like uh, I would say like hair that goes down his arms here. I mean. He has some of his bicep in his forearm, but he, there's nothing on the on the shoulder there. Um, he has some uh, hair going on his uh, uh, chest here, and uh, yeah, and he also has a uh, hair down going on his uh, lower leg right here. You guys can see that too, and uh, yeah, I mean, they uh, for the accessories that he has, you know, I mean. He does come with, uh, well, you know, the piece for uh, Caliban, uh, Caliban's leg here. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of like a pearl white. Um, and, like, it kind of looks like the Build-A-Figure Venom's leg. Am I wrong? I mean, look at the sculpting of the, the molding of it. I mean, it does, looks just like the, well, probably not the feet, but the whole leg and the and just like the entire leg looks like a build a build a figure venom am i right yeah so huh it's weird but yeah the only thing the the real accessory for uh, weapon x is uh well is a swappable head there you can have a little closer look at it oh gosh trying to focus on it there you go yeah some people you know uh, I mean I like it I mean some people objectively hate it and others you know don't really care or others think that it's okay but uh, I mean it's it's different yeah it's different I mean I mean we're gonna switch it up in a minute um, he does, he obviously does look, um, a lot different, and obviously the Cowboy Wolverine swappable head is a lot better. There you see there, you know, there are obviously a like different, uh, different, uh, skin tone there, but, you know, the Wolverine, uh, the Wolverine's, uh, Cowboy Wolverine, you know, he's got those two, uh, the two points on, on his, uh, two points up on his uh of his hair there and this one he doesn't have it you know he this one actually has a lot more um like a, a huge amount of hair you know look at that i mean he doesn't it looks like the two points on his hair on his uh on his head there you know they were like calm back and he has a lot of amount of hair I mean, he's got those beard chops there, you know, they they seem to grow pretty much. And, uh, I mean, uh, the, the little imperfection I see right there is, uh, um, by the eyebrows. I mean, I see a little imperfection on the paint. And I know this is just mine figure, the one that I picked up, because, uh, I have another friend that he has another Weapon X figure, and he doesn't have this issue with the eyebrow right there. Um, it looks like the paint was scraped off or something when maybe they were boxing it or something. I don't know um, Yeah, and for the head, you know, we can swap that off like in a second There he is with the swappable head already and uh, Yeah, he got a huge amount of hair there and like the sculpting on the hair kind of limits a little bit the articulation actually a lot for him to be looking up uh, we're going to be talking about the articulation in a minute, but yeah. So some people, um, I know many Wolverine collectors, you know, they hate the sculpting on this hair, on this head. Um, well, you know, the, he, um, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I think it's okay. I mean, the whole thing is not like a lot of, uh, I mean, like the paint right here, you know, the paintbrush right here, you see a little bit of like darker blue here, and then like 
Um, yeah, he's got a ton of hair right right there. You know that's gonna limit the articulation for looking him for him looking up. And uh, yeah, and and for for the other helmet, the 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 other uh, the other head. You know he he has the um, he has well he has the helmet on. You know you see like a antenna there, and then he has the. Um, I don't know where these are microphones or something, and you got the the lens right there. You know, kind of looking like Cyclops right there. Um, but yeah, the 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 helmet, you know, is pretty nice, and it's also sculpted into the head, so you know the helmet's not it's not removable. I mean, uh, but yeah, the the reason why uh, his face, you know, the, like we can see his face right there. You know, it looks too like too plain right there you know because like wearing the helmet his mind is being controlled so uh, like in the comics when he has the helmet on his mind is being controlled and uh, that's why I guess his, his face right there you know he looks like uh, he, do he doesn't have any expression right there but I know in the comics well in the 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 artwork of the box you see him um, let me see. There you see him with his uh, helmet on, and then he's like screaming or yelling, whatever you know, with his claws sticked out. I mean, we could have at least uh, they could have given us another another sculpt uh, swappable head where he's like where he's screaming, where he's yelling. You know, I mean, I mean the, this one is like nothing comparing to uh, to the one that you see in the in the picture there. Also on both sides, the same picture. And this one, you know, this one is nothing compared to that one. I mean, you you do see him, you know, uh, and uh, screaming right there. You know, he's mad because you know he's Wolverine, so he's got to be mad about something. So, but yeah, we we could have at least seen him with a expression on the on the swappable head where he's wearing the helmet. Um, yeah, the, but like I said, you know, the Cowboy Wolverine, uh, swappable head looks way better, obviously, and obviously, and they have a different, uh, skin tone, you know, and, uh, we can, uh, swap it up in a little bit so you can have a look. Boom, there you see him with, the uh, Cowboy Wolverine's, uh, swappable head. Yeah, it looks a lot better much much better you know the the expression also looks a lot better too I mean trying to focus on that too so you guys can see that yeah it's a lot better artwork this one you know this one not so much I mean some uh, some friend of mine you know comment about it saying that he looks more like a, this one right here looks more like a uh, what do you call that like a Neanderthal like a caveman you know well, you know, Wolverine's been was uh, living in the wilderness, so you know that that makes sense. Um, yeah, this one, you know, I like the I like the uh, hair, you know, the two points, you know, that's how he usually has. They usually see Wolverine, you know, like the beard chops too. They're really nice, and this one, you know, it's just um, well, you know, this one has a lot more hair, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, back to the helmet one, you know, there's, uh, um, the straps, you know, they're also plastic, um, along with the control panel, panels. I like the, the, the claws, the claws are like a lot, uh, dark, uh, a little bit darker silver, you know. And again, the same goddamn problem with the, their claws always, and it's always the left, the left, uh, the left hand something's up with the left hand the way they package him or something but yeah they're uh but I like the claws this one's you know they're darker silver so they may it does look more metallic and uh yeah going down you know he has nothing on so uh there he's got his he's barefoot um and obviously you know you can swap up the heads and once you swapped it off you know this part right here that's attached to this wrist can be removable 
and uh yeah it's all attached to the little panel here um but again you know you can always have it place it back in there and then put the hand back together and yeah I mean but yeah this is cowboy wolverine's uh, a claws and this one is the uh, weapon X claws there you see the big difference yeah which one this one is a darker silver and obviously the different skin tone and yeah, well, you know, for articulation, you know, his ball, he already, we already know that his head is on the ball peg, so he can turn left and right, maybe tilt a little bit, you know, can tilt, rock his head a little bit, and for looking up, is very limited, we already know, we already saw that because of the sculpting of the hair, you know, it's, uh, it's very limit for him to look up, and he can look down, you know, about this range, you know, it's pretty good, for looking up, it's very limited, um, for the arms, you know, he, he can move his arms all the way up and all the way down. Um, for the, the little, uh, tubers or cables, whatever, you know, they don't have to worry about that because, um, they don't, they don't limit the articulation of the figure. You know, they might get a little bit tangled or some, uh, some of them, but, you know, you can always, uh, uh, snap off the, uh, the wrist off and then they like untangle it you know it's not a problem at all um he has a swivel on the bicep and he has double articulation on the elbows and he also has that butterfly joint butterfly joint that's really nice that's really really nice you know you can do different poses with this little butterfly joint here and uh yeah this little tuber keeps falling off of his uh, helmet and yeah we already know the the wrist can hinge and swivel and he has that app crunch just like the other Wolverines that we reviewed he's got the app crunch he's got the swivel on the waist and then he also has uh, he can do a split yeah a little bit um, maybe the little belt here is a little on, on the way too but yeah no biggie um, yeah, he can have, he has a good kicking range for kicking up, for kicking forward, not so much. And, well, you know, he has swivel on the thighs, that's pretty clear, but, um, well, yeah, there's some gaps on here. I mean, that's something that people, you know, dislike about it, you know, the, the, the gaps that you see on the thighs here, you know. Yeah, that's a little bit of a let down there, but, you know whatever's and he has double or double articulation on the knees he has the ankle pivot and he can hinge up and down and obviously uh well you can really swivel but you can he has the ankle pivot and he's got those two peg holes on the bottom of his feet but yeah what do you guys think of this Wolverine or this uh, Weapon X? Man, this little tuber keeps falling off. And, uh, yep, there you go again. But, yeah, what do you guys think about this uh, Weapon X figure? You know, are you guys, uh, are you guys thinking of collecting him, adding, adding him to your uh, Wolverine collection? I mean, I think it's uh, pretty good. You know, I got it for a good price. It was, like, around Christmas, and then I found it on, um... Found it on uh, GameStop. GameStop, you know, it always has some good, uh, good, good stuff there, you know. Yeah. Also, Target, Walmart, you know, you can always find them there too. Um, yeah, if you guys want to pay extra for, for him, always get him online and pay for the shipping and all that bull crap. But <laughs> yeah, let's start out. Let's end this video with the comparison size. Here you have him with Old Man Logan and the uh, classic Tiger Stripe Wolverine. They're all six uh, inch figures. Here you have him with uh, Cowboy Wolverine and uh, Uncanny X Force Wolverine. They're both from Hasbro's, and this Uncanny Wolverine uh, we're going to be reviewing soon. Here you have him with Seven Inch Dark Beast from Hasbro. And an 8-inch beast from Diamond Select.
Here you have him with a uh, seven inch and a half uh, Hulk from Toy Biz, and then here you have him with Thing from Fantastic Four, seven inch. Seven inch Batman from DC Collectibles, and a Batman from Mattel, six inch. Two seven inch DBZ figures from Dragon Stars. Two nine inch uh, Xenomorphs from NECA. And of course, with two eight inch Predator figures from NECA. So yeah, what do you guys think of this uh, Wolverine X, Weapon X figure? Are you gonna? Would you like to add him to your uh, uh, Wolverine collection? I know I did, and I'm really happy with it, you know, because it reminds me of the Toy Biz. Um, you, what do you guys think of it? If you like it, enjoy it. Uh, make sure to give it a like if you, if you do enjoy it. Um, subscribe if you're new and share it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you next time.